Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a Profusion Spectrum Palette testing video. If you're new here, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs and more. This is what it looks like. These are all matte. They are super colorful and what better month to test this out and do a makeup look with this than my cat. <laughs> then June. Is this a good angle? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Even though I already used these eyeshadows, so it's not really a first first impression video. I haven't done like a full on makeup look using these ones, but I'm very excited. So I'm gonna use these four ones here and then these three ones on this eye. I'm gonna start with the lightest blue shade called Bermuda and I'm just gonna pat the color in. So I use a little bit of concealer as a base. I just use my Kiko concealer and it's completely creased here. But anyway, the thing, oh, it works a lot better with my finger. Although I love this shade. I love this shade so much. I did a makeup look using a similar blue shade. Not that similar, but more of a baby blue shade last year using only Primark makeup. And I really loved the makeup look. But I think this here, this shade, mm, so beautiful. So bright, so fun, and it's a lot more pigmented than my Primark one. And I paid around five euros, five euros something for this palette. I think I'm gonna only use this nautical one. I'm gonna use a flat brush and I'm gonna put the shade in. It has a lot of fallout, a lot, but that's okay. And I'm going to use the other side with first blue shade and I'm going to mix them together or blend them together like that, then a little bit like that. Blend, 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 blend. It works a lot better using a finger, maybe even a wet brush. I'm going to use a brush just to wipe the fallout and then I'm gonna use a small brush and I'm gonna use the peacock shade to blend the edges I'm going to use a little bit of this green shade and I'm gonna put this all over my lower And now let's move on to the other eye. And now I'm gonna start by using the yellow shade. No. Yes. No. I'm gonna use the orange shade called Beet. Very dry, but it looks very pigmented. And I'm gonna use. Bing! I wasn't expecting this much pigment because I tried these eyeshadows before but I didn't really play with them a lot and I don't think I've tried this shade on and I'm kind of surprised in a good way it's starting to be very patchy but let's see if I can make this work okay, don't use a brush with this now let's use this ember shade. I love this shade, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm really loving this ember shade. I'm just a little bit sad about the orange one. I was really hoping 
it would be less patchy but maybe I put on too much in one go with my finger maybe that was my fault but yeah anyway this is how it's going now I'm going to use a little bit of the yellow shade to blend them not to blend them but to on the edges okay I don't know how to talk anyway it's called marigold I'm just going to use the makeup wipe to remove some of this. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the yellow on my lower lash line, even though it's coming out a little bit orange. Anyway, I'm now gonna go off camera and do the rest of my eye makeup and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. This is how it looks. Mm -hmm. I honestly really like it because one, it's very very fun it has such beautiful colorful shades and i really like it i, I don't know it's the type of palette that just i look at it and i feel happy <laughs> i don't know then second of all it's so freaking affordable it was five euros something and you get 12 10 different shades and the shades the pens are just huge look at this Obviously, it could be a lot better in terms of formula. I mean, it could be a little bit creamier and a little bit less patchy, but I paid five euros something for this. So honestly, I couldn't ask for more because I could get better quality eyeshadows in these shades, I think, but I would have to pay probably over 20 no over 40 euros maybe and for that i cannot complain i think this would work better doing just um, one shade all over the eyelid maybe also just applying it by layers instead of just packing it all in once but i i'm really happy i think i really like this look even though there is a lot of patch in it patchiness especially on the orange shade but i think that's my fault if you're looking for a fun palette just a very affordable one <laughs> cruelty free buy this this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching it and i hope you found it interesting and if you're looking for something like this hopefully it's helpful and i'll see you very very soon by the way don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you very very soon on